Good evening, this is the Oscar expert here with Brother Bro. It's time to read the Critics' Choice nominations. Usually pretty predictable, so if they snub something major, it's, it's, it's gonna be a big deal. We're looking for them to redeem certain films. We're looking to confirm Judas as a big contender. We're looking for Delroy Lindo. We're seeing if Ellen Burstyn's here. We're seeing if Jared Leto's not here. We're seeing if Paul Racy is here. Right. And usually they nominate all but one of the eventual Academy Award nominees. So we'll see if they're snubbing anything. As always, these reactions are not based on our personal opinions, but rather on what we expect to happen. They're a little both though. Best picture, The Five Bloods is in. Five Bloods in, okay. Or Ma Rainey is in. Mank is in. Yep, this is gonna go. Minari is in. Gonna go as planned, I think. Ah! What news of the world? No, no, help, help me, help me. What did they do? What did they do? Please don't stop. I don't want this. Please don't stop. I'm scared, I don't want to read anymore. Nomadland, One Night Miami. Promising a woman with the- oh, Wait, wait, I sound a metal! Sound a metal! Did you not say Trial of Chicago 7? Trial of Chicago 7. Oh. Sorry, that was the last one. Holy shit. Okay. They snubbed two things. The father is not here. Oh no. Soul's not here. That's obvious. No Madelin, Trial, Mank, Ma Rainey, One in Miami, Promising a woman. Judas? Oh my god. Oh god, they didn't nominate Judas. Oh dear Jesus. Oh no. God, do people just not like the movie? I'm really having a hard time understanding. The father got fucked. Oh. Don't worry about that, because that is going to get BAFTAs. So stacked in BAFTAs that I won't even know what to do with them. I would expect maybe one film not to be nominated that is going to get an Academy Award nomination, but this is two that I thought were going to get nominated, The Father and Judas. Well, we don't know it anymore, do we? I'm fucking worried about News of the World. Yes. That is where yes. Ford B. Ferrari got in. The, I mean, the critics' choice going for that are... I, I, don't, I don't understand fucking, it. I just thought it was an okay movie. I thought it was an. Ar I thought it was all right. I think, I think it was Paul Greengrass's best. I didn't know why people were and, so excited. And about here it. we go. We're seeing a Helena Zengel nomination. We're seeing the movie for screenplay, aren't we? It's gonna get a lot of nominations. And what else are we getting? We're getting Paul Racy. Well, we're, yeah, get, we're, we're getting, getting Paul, Paul Racy. We're getting Paul Racy. Paul Racy. Best actor. Ah! This is hilarious. Ben Affleck. He's here. He's he won ben the Affleck's in the here. He's here. Yeah. I mean, people say he deserved it, so good for him, I guess, but they, I wonder who's not here. They said he was going to show up at the SAG, and he didn't. They said he was going to show up at the Golden exactly. and he didn't, but not here. Riz Ahmed. Yep. Chadwick. Tom Hanks. I was convinced he would not see a single nomination. Oh, <laughs> That's I not appropriate. Tom Hanks and News of the World. What if they nominate News of the World and Best Director? I'm, shut, I'm terrified. Shut, shut, shut the fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Anthony Hopkins is here. Holy shit. Del Rey Lindo, thank fucking God, thank the fucking Lord. And Gary Oldman and Mank. And Stephen Young and Minari, that's eight. That's eight. eight. Let me count. Ah, I can count for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They nominated everybody. They nominated everybody. Well, then I don't care that Tom Hanks and Ben Affleck got in. Because Yeah, it doesn't matter because they didn't take out anybody. I'm glad to see Stephen Young here. I'm glad to see Del Rey Lindo here. Thank God. Amen. But the fact that there's eight means if you didn't get it, you're fucking done, boy. Best actress, here we go. Oh Viola God. Davis. Andrew Day. Andrew she Day? She is oh coming for the Oscar nomination. I'm telling That's you, I'm That's telling true. you, I'm predicting her for the Oscar. Yeah, I, I, I feel that, I feel that now. Sydney Flanagan. Wow! Wow! Sydney Flanagan. Wow! That's great! Vanessa Kirby. Frances McDormand. Oh, they have a lot here, too. Oh, Carrie right. Mulligan and Carrie Mulligan. Mulligan. All right. And Zendaya. No Amy Adams. Yeah, no, no Sophia Lauren. Right, right. No, Sophia Lauren's And no Kate Winslet and Ammonite. I was thinking maybe Elizabeth Moss and in Invisible Man, which we didn't see. A lot of people did think that. Yeah. And we got Best Supporting Actor, Bozeman into Five Bloods. Okay. Sasha Baron Cohen and Charles Cox. Right, see, the other trial boys are in here. Judas and Daniel Kaluuya. All right, Daniel Kaluuya. Bill Murray on the Rocks. All right. I, I kind of, kind of predicted that. They're, they're putting a lot of people in here. Leslie Odom Jr. We'll see Paul Racy. Stacking it. This is five. Paul Racy. Paul Racy, Sound of Metal, of course. Mm. And that's it. And we have six, and that is it. Art? Okay, no Straythorn. No Leto! He's oh, not here! Yeah. There we no go. Jared Leto! No Jared Leto! Oh my goodness. That's what I predicted as the top six. Yeah, I that's believe. your top six. Buddy. Okay. Well, Congratulations, okay. you deserve a pat on the back. Don't, don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. The supporting actress, Maria Bakalova. This is it. This is it. Can we see something? Ellen Burstyn! They are Ellen redeeming Burstyn. everybody! They're okay. redeeming everybody! Okay. This is amazing. At this point, I expect seven because I expect they're gonna nominate Zangle now. Yeah, I, so I, I, agree agree with you. I agree with you. Glenn Close in Hillbilly Elegy. Hillbilly Elegy's first nomination. Olivia Coleman in The Father. Mm -hmm. Father's second nomination. Amanda Seyfried in Mank. They there did not go. sub her. Jung Jung Yoon. And no Zangle. 
No Zangle, where is she? News of the world in picture. Tom you, Hanks and, and Tom Hanks. And no Zangle in supporting him. It makes no sense. And with six slots. Okay, so I'm happy with that category though. Yes. Bakalova has hit everywhere so far. Could she get the Oscar nomination? It's, it's expected. You, you watch out for the BAFTA. If she misses the BAFTA, then it's, then it's a red flag, I, honestly, I to be honest. Young actor, young actress. Uh, I don't have to freak out about this one, but mm, yeah, Ryder yeah. Allen and Palmer, the kid in the life ahead. Mm, he was good. Alan Kim and Monari, of course. Yep. Talia Ryder and Never Rarely. Oh, we- Talia Ryder was great in Never Rarely. Somebody in the Midnight Sky. Kaolin Springle. Oh, the little girl. Well, of course they're little. Um, but the, the, you know, and, and here, here is where we find Zangle comfortably oh, there we go. Uh, situated in the best young actress category. Ensemble. The Five Bloods. Mm-hmm. Judas. Judas oh, gets what? a nomination ensemble. Wait, Judas. That is so much deserves. But no picture. I know. I know. Yeah. I think it really hurt them to run a late campaign. If this came it out did. in October, it did. they would have a better shot. Ma Rainey in Ensemble. Minari. Mm. I told you, it's going to be it's gonna be this top five in SAG. It's going to all be here. Yep. One Night Miami, Trial of Chicago 7. The SAG is all here with the addition of Judas. I love that. That's I think great. that's a great top six. Let's keep going. I want to get to the director. All right, we, oh, we're at the director right now. Oh. Lee is Isaac Chung in Minari. There we go. Good that's for him. nice. I like it. I like it. Emerald. Fennell in Promising like Young it. Woman. I'm liking there it. There we go. David Fincher and Mank. Spike Lee to five bloods. This might be seven or eight. I am just going to tell you right now. Regina King. They are going for everybody. I'm telling you. Aaron Sorkin. Chloe Zhao in No Man Land. That's it? Yeah. No, no Zeller in The yeah, Father, no, clearly. No Zeller, clearly. That's basically what I, that's mostly what I predicted. No Judas, no Sound of Metal. Regina King with these director nominations. Original, okay, so no Greengrass, which is- No Greengrass, gra- oh, thank God, like I can that. breathe a little bit. Best Screenplay, Minari, doing exceedingly well. Nominated everywhere so far. Emerald Fennell, an original screenplay, nominated everywhere so far. Jack Fincher in Mank. Mm-hmm. in Mank. Eliza Hitman never rarely sometimes Whoa! always they really like that movie damn they actually really we're like- gonna see first count adapted that's for sure Sound of Metal original screenplay bravo, bravo. Mm, there's not gonna be a Judas Aaron Sorkin Trial of Chicago 7 that's it no, no soul and no soul no Judas Sound of Metal could take that fifth slot at the Oscars. I'm very scared about Judas. Not only has it not built momentum in picture, but it's not building momentum in screenplay. Doubtful it's going to get editing cinematography. I mean, at this point, since it's not even getting nominated at the BAFTAs, I'm not going to predict it for Best Picture. I'm sorry. PGA has to save it. Best Adapted Screenplay, News of the World. We, we've, we've braced ourselves for this. We know it was coming. Florian Zeller and The Father. Okay, oh, The Father. The father. Gets, wait, and Olivia Coleman and Anthony Hopkins got nominated. Yeah, so it didn't right? do badly. Ken Powers and One Night in Miami. There you go. First cow, Kelly Riker. First cow. There we First go. First cow. There's the hype. I knew that was happening. Ma Rainey and Nomadland. Okay, so that's everything we. That's did the fact. top six that I predicted. No, I I'm thinking of ending things. They're not going to throw it a single bone. Nope. Cinematography. First cow is in wow. cinematography. Yes. Oh, I really wanted that to happen. And the Oscars could do it because 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 remember they nominated, really you think like, they would do that? Remember they nominated Never Look Away. It was fucking weird. Mank, of course. Yep. Minari. 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 Oh my god. Minari. That's pretty big. That's that's great. That doesn't great. happen a lot. Nomad Land, of course. Defy Bloods. Tenet. <laughs> News of the World. That's it. That was seven. So oh, they didn't well, do Midnight Sky. Well, we didn't want that. No Judas. Yeah, no. But, oh man, no Judas. Again. Production design. The personal history of David Copperfield. Mm. News of the World. A lot of News nominations. Of the world. <laughs> oh yeah. Tenet. Tenet, okay. Is that expected? That's interesting. Not, eh, not really. Not really. Mank, of course, is going to win. Bang. Emma. Emma is Emma, here. Yep. Not just in costumes. Yep. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And that's it. That's what's expected, I would say. David Copperfield and Emma. Editing. Charles Chicago 7, of course. Mm. Mank, of course. Tenet, pretty expected. T- Wait, Tenet's not that expected, Justin. Oh, it's not. I put it at number seven on my list. Didn't you say they like to nominate? I said Nolan they like to films? nominate Nolan, but I didn't know about Tenet because because people don't like Tenet. The Father is here. That's not Whoa! expected at this point. That's a strong editing contender, I suppose. That would be very weird if it got an editing nomination without a picture, and then it also gets screenplay supporting actress actor with no picture. Oh no, it's not. It's not bad. The Sound of Metal. Sound of Metal. Whoa. Editing. No. If the Oscars wanted to. They could do picture, actor, supporting actor, screenplay, editing. That's a big package. It can shock everybody. I, 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 I wouldn't necessarily predict it, but, th- but this is true. We have two nominations for Judas at this point. Costumes, Emma, mm. Mulan. 
Did my lawn not get production design? No, it did not. That's interesting. No, it did not. That's it got costumes something only. Something to consider. Something, something to consider. very much to consider. The person that's here, David Copperfield. Ma Rainey. Promising young woman. For costumes? For costumes. Oh, nice. Promising nice. young woman for all the outfits that she has on. That's that's a nice nomination. I'm happy about that. I yeah. love when they do contemporary yeah. stuff. And Mank. Wait, yeah. is News of the World there? No, it's not. That is something that I'm looking out for now. I might predict that for News of the World at the Oscars, and I was kind of thinking that route. One Night but, Miami but, not the, showing up in production designer costumes. Kind of expected. Hair and makeup. Watch out for Promising Young Woman, bitch. Emma. Hillbilly Emma. Elegy. Okay. Ma Rainey. Yep. Mank. Yep. Promising Young Woman you in makeup. <laughs> in makeup. It's a, th- it's a real thing. It's a real ass thing. And the U.S. versus Billie Holiday. Oh, Look shit. Look at that. That might happen. Nomination wow. out of nowhere. Having a makeup nomination to support your lead actor nomination is big. That. And that, that could happen. Those are facts. Wait, those let, me, facts. let me, let me, let me. No, like you touch Shut the fuck up. No move on. No, no goofy shit like Borat or uh, Bill vs. Ted. Yeah, but the Oscars love to do that kind of stuff. Visual effects. Greyhound. The Invisible Man. Yes. Nice. Let's fucking go. Mank. <laughs> you know on. what? Maybe it has visual effects that I'm not aware of. Okay? It does. Maybe. It does. And they're pretty interesting. Cool. Then, I, then I don't really care. It's not like the best. Midnight Sky. Mm-hmm. Mulan. Tenet. Mm-hmm. Wonder Woman 1984. Sometimes. But no Birds of Prey. No Birds of Prey. That's the big snub probably. Really? I would say. Yep. Yep. I would say that's a snub. Best comedy. Borat. Yep. The 40-Year-Old Version. Nice. Good. You love that movie. The King of Staten Island. Also nice. On the Rocks, which the Golden Globes Nice. And Palm Springs, please. Palm Springs. Of course. Of course. Thank God. And The Prom. Honestly, what a superior category to what the Golden Globes did. Best Foreign Language Film. Another round. Collective. Very nice. La Llorona, of course. Yep. Makes sense at this point. The Life Ahead. Minari. And Two of Us. This is called Foreign Language Film. Which is distinct from what the Golden Globes deem foreign film or what other places deem international film. Minari is not a foreign film. It is not an international film. Is it a majority foreign language film? Yes, it is. Does that stop Minari from being eligible in Best Picture here? No, it doesn't. So I don't really have a problem with that. Go ahead. What do you want? They didn't nominate The Farewell here. And they don't really nominate like US foreign films like the Golden Globes do in this category ever. So this is kind of weird. This really throws it for a loop because if you look at this lineup, you have to say another round's not winning anymore. It's going to be Minari. Best song. Everybody cries in the outpost. I don't know what that is. Fight for you and Judas. Mm. There's one. Eurovision. Husavik. There we go. My hometown. I'm actually kind of expecting that at the Oscars. Scene, The Life Ahead. Yep. Speak Now, One Night in Miami, of course. Winning. Tigress and Tweed from the U.S. vs. Billie Holiday. That's number two. Three nominations. Okay, it could I'll get three nominations. I just said that. Four out of five here is matching with the Golden Globes. The Judas one, I think, is becoming a lock. Best score, Midnight Sky, as we expected. Alex yeah, Young's plot. Ludwig Goranson, Tenet. I can predict this one easily. Okay, what, what, what else am I going to say? Manx, Soul, Minari, and News of the World. That's correct. Absolutely correct. And it was six nominees. So you win the prize. Okay. And we are at the end, which is where we can reflect on how many nominations each film racked up. And it actually conveniently lists this for you. Go all right. Defy Blood's got six nominations. Director, right. actor, picture, all, all the stuff that you'd really want from that movie. Emma got three in technicals, production design, costume, makeup. First Cow got two nominations, adapted screenplay, cinematography. Hillbilly Elegy, you know, minimal showing. That's what we would say about this. Minimal showing. Supporting actress, hair and makeup. Judas, minimal showing. Ensemble, which was a nice surprise, but other than that, it was just song and a supporting actor. I mean, it's barely anything. I am not going to be predicting that for cinematography and editing. Like, if it gets PGA, I'll maybe predict it for picture. That or The Father, I think, could still squeeze in a Best Picture nomination, and I would predict The Father over that one. Should we be predicting Sound of Metal for screenplay? Yeah, you might want to. Ma Rainey got six. Uh, There was no director, but it did well everywhere else. It got a lot of technicals. I don't expect that to deviate at the Oscars at all. A reminder that we saw Zendaya in Best Actress. Mank led the nominations with 12. It got... Everything that it wanted. Everything. Visual Including effects. visual effects. Visual effects and makeup are the most questionable ones for... Also, Oscars. why didn't they have a sound category here? They never do. Minari got 10! <laughs> Minari got 10! Wow, I think Minari is, is the second most nominated film here. Wow. And nominations that it won't get at the Oscars is foreign film and ensemble. But I guess Minari could get up to eight nominations, I, I think. Probably not cinematography, but... Never rarely did actress, original screenplay, and it's good. young actress, it's so... Good. News of the World got seven, so that's one of the biggest ones here. We saw picture. We saw actor for Tom Hanks. What? 
what nomadland got six that's everything that we it's gonna get at the oscars and Absolutely. that's everything that we'd expect from it guaranteed one night in miami got six that's exactly what we'd expect at the oscars uh except for ensemble so well, actually, directors kind of question why isn't it promising young woman six nominations a very nice good film. turnout for it to get costumes and makeup like i wonder if the oscars could get, get go one or two over on we that. were debating a little bit whether they're gonna put in editing and they didn't do that all soul got was best score because they didn't do best animated so that didn't like overperform or anything soul is dead to be honest it people didn't get are screenplay. really holding out for it no, it, it didn't is... get screenplay it didn't get like, oh my god yeah wait like it didn't get screenplay yeah because sound of metal got screenplay remember and never rarely sound of metal five nominations we saw picture we saw our boy Paul Racy, thank God. Wow. This would have killed him if he didn't, wasn't here, but I think he was pretty locked in to get this nomination. And then we saw screenplay and editing. This was a huge turnout for Sound of Metal. And those are all nominations it could feasibly get at the Oscar. Tenet got five. It did pretty well in all the categories below the line that it was contending for. I would expect the Oscars will like it less because yeah. they do that with Christopher Nolan movies all the time. They under-nominate yeah. them. So. The Father slightly underperformed by not getting Best Picture. Really, that was kind of it. But it got a lot else. It got editing, which it got still four feels kind of strong. Four nominations. Baft the BAFTAs are going to be it. If the BAFTAs nominated a lot, then I feel like pretty good about predicting it. The Life Ahead got three nominations, which sounds like a lot. Lauren didn't get nominated no, here. Nobody, nobody has cared about her this award season. Right. At all. Midnight Sky got three because they got a young actor. So yeah, that did okay. Visual effects and score. We, we can expect that to repeat for sure. Copperfield production design costumes. Maybe that's pretty solid at the Oscars. I don't know. Charles Chicago 7 got six, but that includes ensemble. Is that getting five nominations? Oh, it, it missed song, didn't it? But Spotlight did win with six. And Parasite. Yep. And The Departed. No, The Departed won with five. No, you don't have to get like a huge That's show. true. I believe The Departed got those exact nominations. U.S. vs. Billy Holiday got three. Like we said, those could all repeat. Andrew Day is going on my top five for the Oscars, and I don't think I'm going to take her down. Ben Affleck got his nomination here. I don't know if that'll repeat anywhere. We're going to wrap our heads around this and film some updated Oscar predictions with all this new information about the Critics' Choice SAG Awards. This is some great Edward information. Works. I'm really happy, but that's because they have to be agreeable. They have so many slots that of course they're going to be agreeable. I'm, but I'm, I'm a little bit dismayed at News of the World. I really don't want that to get nominated for Best Picture because I thought it was just okay. And over Judas and The Father is disappointing. Yeah. I do not want to see that. I don't I'm think we're going to see, see Tom Hanks. I wouldn't worry about that, but I am worried about Best Picture. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What are some choices you've made today?